Hello world, it's Siraj and we're going to build a dating app using ChatGPT that makes money in this video. And I want to show you a demo first. As you can see, I'm asking it about a girl that I like that likes different things, rock and roll, anime, gaming, and it gives me some examples of gifts to give her. I also say that this is where she lives and here's the type of food she likes and it suggests a type of restaurant that I should take her to. Okay, so this is just a very simple example. I've already made sales with this um, from friends just for a test demo, but you can see here that the first step, it's called Hitch. That's the name of the app. The first step is to purchase this app. It, Hitch is an AI powered dating coach that offers on-demand private coaching for singles let's purchase this for a dollar just for test purposes and then you can see here it is with stripe i can enter my details i can pay for it let me just do that um, once i pay the details it's going to give me a phone number that i can then text here's the number save the number you can text your call anytime and this was paid it's recorded in my stripe dashboard i've already made some other sales from friends already here's the third sale that i made um, we can see in the twilio dashboard um, all of the sms texting i'm going to go through each of these so there are three parts to this tutorial the demo the tools used and let's build the mvp so i've already showed you the demo so let's go right into the tools that are used. The first one is obviously OpenAI's API for GPT-3. Um, the second, and ChatGPT as well. The second one is Twilio, and that's for SMS texting. The third one is Node.js, and that's a JavaScript runtime environment. The next one is React, and React creates responsive interfaces for JavaScript applications. Then we have next.js. Next.js is built on top of React and it allows us to use building blocks to build web frameworks. Then we have Stripe for payments and Stripe is accepted in most countries now. And for deployment, we have fly.io. It allows us to deploy a node.js app instantly and scale it as much as we want. And I think it's built off of GCP, Google Cloud. Then we have Durable. Durable is a one-click landing page. It's how I built this landing page right here. And then we have Brandmark, and Brandmark generates logos for us using AI in real time. So if we go to the architecture of the DAP, we can see how it works. I, as a user, will first pay Stripe, okay, so that's going to be a payment, and if, once I pay Stripe, then I can send a text to a number that is given to me with the Twilio API, and I'll send that number a text. What gift should I get a gamer girl? It's going to then send that query to the fly.io server that's running the app, and the app is running in a JavaScript runtime environment that's using node.js. On top of that, there's React to interact with um, uh, responsive web, web elements and then next.js on top of that for web interactivity and performance. Now next.js and routing, by the way, it's also gonna do routing. Next.js is gonna call the OpenAI API with that query, get the result, return it back to the user um, very simply. So that's kind of the architecture and overview of how the app works. And now let's get to the third part, which is building it. And so by the way, which version of GPT am I using here? That's a really good question. I wanna have an answer for you. The answer is GPT-3 because chat GPT, it is actually not allowed to use that publicly. OpenAI has not publicly released their API for that. So we're going to use ChatGPT as our co-founder to build this MVP. And then we're going to use GPT-3 as the actual chat engine underneath. So let's go into this and start building. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to ask it, what are some of the use cases of you to make money? So let's ask it that. I want to make money with um, ChatGPT. What are some ways to do that? And it's going to give us some, it's going to give us some great examples. It's going to say we can use it to offer businesses a chatbot service for a customer uh, communication or, you know, more information. We could sell templates. We could use it to promote products. We could generate leads for sales, all these things. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick the first one. We're going to offer chatbot services to businesses. And those businesses would be like, you know, dating services, consultancies. And this could be a tool to help them, um, you know, just help people more often at scale. So how how do we build this? Thanks GPT for the suggestion on what to build. Now, how to build it. And believe it or not, ChatGPT can tell us how to build something as well. So I asked it, for example, um, these are all the things that I've asked it. I was like, how do I add a simple user login signup flow to a React application? Here's like, it's like, here's step by step how to do it with the code, everything. Oh my God. Okay. So super simple stuff. Um, but more than that, I thought what was, what was really cool was I asked it literally show me a five step tutorial on how to deploy an AI dating coach that charges $10 a month to access OpenAI's GPT-3, Twilio, Stripe, Node.js, React.js. 
and Next.js. And it's like, here it is, the five-step tutorial. So we're going to follow the five-step tutorial that ChatGPT, our co-founder, asked us to do. So let's do that. Um, the first step for us to do is we're going to go to this GitHub repository. And I'm going to fork it so that we all have access to it. I'm going to call it um, ChatGPT um, Demo. Or let's call it GPT Demo. And so you're going to find this repository here. It's called GPT Demo in my GitHub repository in the video description. So it was made by the Promptable guys. So good job, Promptable guys. So we're going to start with this thing. And so what this is, is it's a React application. If you've never coded in JavaScript, that's okay. Just follow along with me. We're going to do this all together. So the first step is we're going to download this code, the GPT demo. Let's download it. And once it's downloaded, we're going to see what are the dependencies that we need here. Okay, we need Node. It's already installed. We need a Twilio account. We need a ngrok, which we don't actually need, and some optional things. So let's forget about all that. All we need is Node.js. So we've downloaded our application, and now we're going to go into that directory. Okay, so we're in it, and now we're going to do whatever it says. So it says the first thing we need to do is create a Twilio phone number. So let's go to Twilio. And Twilio is great. I used to work at Twilio as a developer educator. So they have amazing, I know that they have amazing solutions for developers like us. Um, if we go to the console, what Twilio is going to do, we're going to have to sign up for an account, and it's going to give us a free $15 promo to sign up. So it's actually free to use. Um, then we have to pay to remove the trial of stuff. So right now, this is a you know free trial account. I actually paid $20 just to remove the trial logos on the text messages, but it's free. You can do this for free. So if we go to phone numbers, it's going to ask us to generate a phone number. So we can go to phone numbers. We can uh, go to buy a number and, you know, be, if you start off, you get a phone number for free. So I already have a number and then we'll go to overview and you can see already that there's a bunch of messages that my friends, users have already sent from different numbers. And you can see that um, that's all we have to do. And so once we have a Twilio phone number, then we're going to go back uh, to this and we're going to update our uh, Twilio phone number. But we need to Twilio's command line interface installed and we just don't want to do that. So all we have to do is install our dependencies with NPM, the Node Package Manager, one of the most ubiquitous package managers in the developer tooling ecosystem. Now, once we've done that, we're gonna copy our environment variables. Boom, one click, done that. Now we have to fill in our Twilio and OpenAI keys and my personal phone number. Okay, so in.env. So we'll go to nano.env. We'll see that there are four values here that we have to fill in. The account SID, the auth token, the phone number, and the API key. How do we do all of this? So if we go to Twilio, we go to the um, account, we're going to see our API keys and tokens. We're going to have to verify. And I have my credentials here. And then I also, what else do I need? I need my phone number. So I'm going to add my phone number from Twilio and then my OpenAI API key. That's super important. So if we go to the OpenAI website, we can get access to our API key. We'll go to view API keys. We'll get a secret key. We'll, we'll you know create a new secret key and copy it. And we'll go back here and we'll paste it in, okay? And once we have our environment variable, then we're going to compile the TypeScript to JavaScript with npm run build. Okay, we did that. And finally, we can run the project with npm start. Okay, so this address is in use, so we're gonna have to Okay, so now the server is listening on localhost. And if we go to localhost 3000, we can see it's a 200 OK, so it understands us. But where we want to go is messages. Messages is we're going to require a post request, not a get request. So let's open up this um, code and see what it looks like. So here's the app. And if we go into it, we can see under the messages.ts file in the routes folder, what it's doing is it's going to send a message, a query that we send to it, a user sends to it via SMS. Um, it's going to encode that using Twimmel. And Twimmel is Twilio's markup language. It's a way to um, encode data so that it interacts well uh, with Twilio's SMS 
um, service. And uh, we can see that right here. It's all happening right here. You send the request, send it to Twilio, returns a response with OpenAI's API, and uh, that's where the reply is gotten from asynchronously. So that's that. And uh, now we can go back to our repository here. If we want to expose the local server uh, publicly, we can use ngrok. We don't want to do that. We just want to go directly to deploying it with fly.io. And um, before we deploy it, let's make sure and test that it works. And you can see that it works because every time someone sends a message uh, to this chatbot, it's going to reply and you can see it here. And here's the OpenAI um, parameters, the max number of tokens, uh, the temperature, the stop, the ID, the object. And, you know, we can choose how many tokens we want to generate. But remember that we are charged on a, you know, token by token basis at OpenAI. So we don't want to charge too much. So we have that and uh, it works. Now we want to deploy it to fly.io. So what is fly.io? Fly.io is a way to deploy our app servers close to our users. Very cool, full stack apps, um, and they've got servers all over the world. I love it. It's really simple to deploy to as well. So fly launch. Okay. Here's the server we want to deploy it to. And now we have our app here. It is running in the cloud on fly.io. Fly we can see all the texts. Um, we can see all the metrics, all that stuff. Um, and all that stuff. So, okay, so we have our app, it's running in the cloud, but how do, how does a user pay for it, right? That's the next question. How does a user actually pay for this service? Because right now they just text a number and the number is going to, for free, give them this AI service, right? Using GPT-3, that chat GPT helped us build. Um, but we want to have them pay for it. So how do we do that? So the way to do that is to go to Durable. And I found this great one-click website to create a landing page really quickly. So let's do it. Let's generate our website using AI. What type of business? Let's say it's a dating coach. Um, and it's a, you know, it's called Hitch. Um, and then it's going to use those keywords. It's going to use NLP to design the website based on what we like. So you can see it's using semantic similarity to suggest similar words like find love in the city. It's literally generating um, customer testimonials. It's generating um, related text descriptions, paragraphs about our business from scratch. And it's ready We're already. So it's ready and we can share it already in one click. Here's our website. Boom, it's live. Okay. So what do we want to do? We want to create a landing page on this website. And it's just a one click link on the website using Stripe. And then once they click on the link, they have to pay. And once they pay, the receipt is going to give them the number that's going to give them access to our OpenAI GPT-3, but on the phone. Okay. So how do we do that? We're going to go back to this. We're going to restyle it. We're going to customize it and we're going to add a Stripe landing page. So if we go to Stripe, If we go to payments, payment links, we can create a new payment link. Now this, is a, now this is a single page with Stripe that allows us to, you know, create a product. So I'm going to say it's, you know, $1, you know, I'll create a new product. Let's create a new product. This is a recurring payment, AI dating coach, um, fun. The price is going to be $100 a month recurring. Um, billing period is monthly. We'll add the product. And it's there. We'll create the link. Here's the link. One click link right here. Boom, $100 a month. Automatically charged. So what do I need to do? We need to go back to our page and we just need to add it in. It's that simple. Just add it in right there in the link right here. Boom. Just like that. Cool. So now we have our landing page. We have our Stripe integration. We have our Twilio integration. We have our fly.io uh, app integration. So our app is living in the cloud now. We have everything going on for us. Um, now we just need users. So we can just take this website and we can share it with our friends. We can say, hey, check this out. Here's a link to it. And if we wanted to, we could get an actual custom link on this durable, by the way. Super simple. And that's our app. Code is going to be in the video description. I hope you use it to build your own AI startup with ChatGPT or the GPT suite of APIs. I'm so proud of all of you wizards for who have been here for years and are continually improving your careers and making amazing positive impact in the world. And the coding challenge for this week is to make your first sale with OpenAI's API. Whoever does that, submit your GitHub link in the comments section below and I'll announce the winner next week. Until then, 
happy learning. And if you make it to the end, I'm gonna wrap with lyrics generated by ChatGPT. GPT, the AI that's always on top. It's language skills, they never stop. Generating text that's almost real. GPT, the AI that we feel.